Good morning, everybody. It is Ruthie Rocks, and it is Saturday on the Labor Day weekend, and hopefully everybody will have a great one. We're going to do the stats for September 4th, and we have 23 days of inventory. Open on my microphone. Hold on, everybody. I don't have my moderator here today, so we are not didn't do a sound check, so let me make sure. Okay, I think we're on. I'll do my tech check. Always have to do our tech check, make sure that uh, I'm not talking to nothing. <laughs> so hold on, let me make sure we're live and you can check. hear me. Yep, Always there we go. Sure you can hear me. So yeah, 23 days of inventory. Um, interesting. We listed 73 homes yesterday. That's condos, single family and townhomes. We put uh, 70 under contract and we closed 79. So I don't see the stats changing too much, uh, at least not right now, but I'm interested about the middle of September to see what's going to happen. I think we're going to, if we're going to see a shift, I think that's when we're going to see it. We listed 19 homes yesterday that were under 400,000. And uh, that gives us a total of 698 homes under 400,000 that are active. And last year at this time, we were selling 153 homes a day. This year, we're selling 134 homes a day. So that's an interesting uh, number because that means we're not listing as many um, because there's obviously not as many uh, variety to sell. And I wanted to show you real quick what last year looked like. So let me find it here. See where it went. It's always fun. Okay, let me do this. Let me hide this year and let's look at last year. So last year we had 6,666 um, uh, home, 6,603 homes uh, available. And that was 1.6, almost 1.7 months of inventory. Very interesting. And we had listed uh, on September the 4th, 151 homes. That's twice as many as we listed uh, the, uh, yesterday. So we are way behind. And um, that's what's giving us, of course, the, uh, the only, uh, what do we have, 23 days of inventory versus last year when we had 1.7 months of inventory. So things, uh, things have shifted. And uh, I love comparing, you know, what, what happened year to year. Let's go back here to this year for just a second. Put that back up here. Um, we have a median now of 407,000. And of course, last year we were looking at 346,000. So that is a big switch as well. So I'm anxious to see if our median price goes down a little bit. Um, the fact that we only listed 19 homes under 400,000 um, <clears> can cut both ways. One of the ways it can cut is that we're going to continue to keep that 400 plus median price. Uh, if we start listing more homes, then we might have more variety and then the uh, median price might go down a little bit. And actually, I think that would be a good thing. And I hope after Labor Day and toward the middle of September that we start listing more homes so that that median price maybe gets closer to 400,000 because then I think we'll be able to get more entry level people back into the market. Um, if you look at the, uh, the, I guess it's the median household income, the median household income can afford a house uh, for $375,000 to 400,000 based on their credit score and their interest rates. So that it's, that's a very touchy area right in there. So hopefully we'll list more homes. The median will come down a little bit and we'll be able to bring more people into uh, home ownership uh, as with these low interest rates. 